Police, fire trucks and ambulances were all on hand at Charlotte Douglas Airport today. Staff and emergency responders taking part in a disaster exercise. The FAA mandates it every three years and officials say it's all about making sure they're ready for the real thing. You're going to see fire. You're going to see passengers coming off of the aircraft. Some of those passengers will be injured. All in the name of practice. The injured passengers actually just volunteers acting in order to help the airport and emergency response teams perfect their process. This is an opportunity for us to test our emergency procedures uh, for an aircraft incident on the airfield. Everything from the initial calls for help Evacuate on the runway. to preparing the airport for a return to normal operation. Rolling uh, fire to an incident. Fire response. Just uh, give me an update on the uh, situation. Removing folks from an aircraft that's had an incident. We are in the process of evacuating. EMS response. Close to 200 people in all, simulating catastrophe for three hours from start to finish, preparing for the worst in the event the unthinkable becomes reality. When we have an actual incident, we are able to respond in the most efficient and safest way possible, uh, trying to save as many lives and, and protect as much of the property as we possibly can.